Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So in this video, I'm going to do the unboxing of my EG4 12,000 XP off-grid inverter. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd know that this is actually going to be my second one, and I already purchased the first one, and it's running my shop right now. So this second one's going to give me some additional capacity and also a little bit of redundancy. So let's unbox it together, and let's see what comes inside. So the first thing that's up on top is this piece of cardboard. This is actually the template. So very important to hold on to this uh, because this is what you're going to use when you go to install it on a wall. So make sure you hold on to this. Don't throw it out until everything is installed. So I'm just going to put this off to the side. Next, you've got uh, different... Uh, bolts to hold this into, say, wood studs, or if you have concrete, here's your anchor bolts to kind of anchor it into uh, a concrete wall. This is the top bracket that you use to install it. So I'll show you how my existing one is installed, but essentially the arrow faces up. You're going to put this on your wall. Use the template, of course and then you're going to secure this to the wall. And then your EG4 12,000 XP is going to then sit on this. For the bottom, there's these two small um, brackets that hold the bottom and kind of secure it, but all of the weight is going to be squarely on this. Next, you have this small white box. This is going to have your Wi-Fi uh, dongle for your, uh, your EG4 12,000 XP. So it's going to say on it, please inquire your local supplier for customer code during registration. So you're going to, so with mine, it was Signature Solar that I purchased this from. So you would reach out to them if you purchase it from them as well. I got a great deal. So put this off to the side. Make sure you don't damage it because this is uh, pretty fragile. Okay, so there's a lot of thick foam in this, which is good. It will protect it. But whenever that you get a new shipment in, the, it could be solar panels, it could be inverter, what have you. You're going to want to take pictures of all sides of it, including the top. Make sure if there's any damage that you have that noted and you let your shipper know. So, for example, the reason why this box was already opened was because there was a little bit of damage to this corner. So because of that, I opened this up to make sure that there were no issues. And I highly recommend you do the same thing, especially if you get uh, solar panels as well. Inside, you have two different network cables, and this is going to be used to uh, connect to another 12,000 XP if you have one. And then also, I believe, uh, the other one, maybe it's for connecting up your, your battery uh, if you have a closed-loop system. I haven't used these as of yet because, once again, my uh, 12,000 XP that I have is just one unit, and all of my batteries are uh, open-loop. So I'm going to put this to the side. And then you have the 12,000 XP itself. All right. Now move the plastic. Okay. So on one side, here is your intake. It's got an air filter on the inside that you would clean from time to time. Right here is where you plug in your, uh, your Wi-Fi dongle. Here's your EPS output. So you have your on and off. So that turns on or off the load that is connected to this. So that would be typically connected to... Uh, your panel. Let 
The other side, you've got your four fans. Uh, inside the app, you can um, adjust your fans as far as their maximum speed, so that's kind of nice. This is where you turn your solar on and off, and then you have your on and off. So let's just say you're trying to disconnect your panels. This is what you would use, and then you have powering on your unit. On the front, you've got to remove these, uh, these screws so I can flip these up. But this is your disconnect for your batteries, and it's 300 amp. Um, it's also your, uh, your circuit breaker for it. And then um, for, your, uh, for your load, uh, I, I'm sorry, um, for your smart load, you've got your, uh, your on and off for that which is uh, right there, your smart load and then your load. Uh, you have your screen here. Got to pull this little plastic piece off, but I'll do that after I install it. Uh, as far as the output of this, it is 12,000 watts uh, continuous. It does have a fairly high peak on it. Um, I have maxed my other one out just to check it, and it, it's got a lot of uh, a headroom on it. So... Uh, it's pretty nice. So 12,000 watts is approximately 50 amps, uh, the output on it. So we do about 50 amps continuous, uh, about 75 amps peak. So in my shop, um, I have a 200 watt panel. I've got two mini splits with two more that I've got to install. And I've got lifts. I've got, you know, this is the chill area. So I've got my radio. Um, 3D printer is actually running in the background, printing out some stuff. Um, so I have a lot of things that I have on at once, uh, air compressors. Um, I'm going to be mining crypto again. So I've got my crypto miner back there. So I needed to have the additional power, which between my existing one and this one, I'll have uh, them running in parallel. It's 24,000 watts continuous, which would be about 100 amps and um, it should do probably 150 uh, peak so or, or, or close to it so that's plenty for what uh, for what I need um, but yeah so this is what it uh, this is what it looks like and then let me show you the back real quick so I had mentioned the uh, the bracket that you uh, mount on the wall so with this mounted, this will fit right in there. And it'll be nice and secure holding it on. So, and then these little brackets go on the bottom. There's a couple of these uh, little holes down here. And then this is how that mounts. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Um, I will show you one thing real quick. Let me show you my existing one. So here's my existing uh, 12,000 XP. It's connected up to 24 batteries. And uh, the mounting, just like I talked about, I've got the bracket up on top on that side and then the smaller brackets there. This is very, very solid. This is tied into my uh, steel uh, frame of the shop. And uh, once again, the second one will just kind of be installed right here. So once again, um, thanks again for watching Mike's Garage. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and um, I'll have links below for the uh, 12,000 XP. Um, if it's something that makes sense to you, check out Signature Solar. I do have links for that. And uh, if you do purchase, I may get a small commission, but uh, they have the best deals on these, and the support is absolutely phenomenal. So that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.